have time just for a couple Ukraine. more, and then I have to run. Sorry. Ukraine? Yes, let's do a few on Ukraine. Um, so the president and uh, President Putin spoke today, according to the White House and according to the Kremlin. Um, I won't ask you about that call unless you want to say more than what the White House already said the about White it. House. Okay. You've seen that the Russian, uh, the separatists, the rebels in the east have said that they will respect or that they plan to respect the ceasefire. I presume We've you seen think those this is claims, but again, actions have to back up the words. Um, will four okay. Days have make a difference? I'm sorry? Will four days make a difference? Look, we would support any side taking steps to, to work towards a ceasefire. Obviously, we need to see uh, those steps taken to support the words that we've now seen from President Putin and others. No, but not, I'm not talking about what President Putin, I mean, President yeah. Putin has come out and said that he supports the, the yeah. ceasefire no, as well, but he's also question. said that it, okay, so you're ta I'm talking about the separatists. Mm -hmm. As I said, there are words out there people right. have spoken about supporting okay. the ceasefire, but we haven't seen actions taken to back that up okay. yet. Have you seen any, uh, in terms of actions, what have you seen? Has it gotten worse? Yes. Has it gotten... It has, in, in some respects. We have seen evidence of continued Russian military support to the separatists and a new ongoing buildup of Russian forces on the border. Okay. Um, on Friday... There was discussion in here and in a conference call with a senior official about Russian tanks mm -hmm. moving or having left or be, they were being prepared at a site yeah. in southwest Russia and then uh, there were indications that some of them might have left that site. Um, is that yep. so, still the case? Do you, yep. have, have they, are you aware that they have? gone into Ukraine? Uh, right. And as we said, I think last week on June 13th, Russia sent tanks from a deployment site in southwest Russia into eastern Ukraine. And we have information that additional tanks have been prepared for departure from the same site. Um, on June 20th, the OSCE reported eyewitness accounts seeing um, a military convoy of unknown origin driving through Luhansk City. This convoy included tanks and armored personnel carriers. We also have ground photos from the destroyed BM-21 multiple rocket launchers in Luhansk uh, that the launcher originally belonged to a Russian motorized rifle brigade. So there's a host of information that tanks, rocket launchers are crossing the border from Russia into Ukraine. Uh, and all of this is post Friday. Uh, I can check on the timing. It was, it was one thing, I'll, yeah, I had yeah, basically the same question, which was the briefer on the call couldn't confirm that any of the tanks that the U.S. government has information had left. Mm -hmm. Have crossed? Had actually crossed. I'm happy to check and Thank see you. what the status of that is. Um, and is it still your understanding that, that reports uh, in Russia of, um, you know, enormous amounts of refugee flows are, are incorrect? Incorrect, yes. Um, okay. Still our understanding. Sorry for the fire drill today, guys. Um, that's it.